Welcome to more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We've got a problem, my dudes. You see Ocean Speedway right here, which we ended the last episode with. Turns out that one has a skill point. I can remember how to open it. There we go. We got a skill point in there, and it's going to be to get that done in under 110. That might be slightly challenging, so... Uh, yeah, let's head inside and see if we can do that. During the last episode when I did this, I got 122 on the clock. So I have to do 13 seconds better to get this. So I guess the first thing to figure out is what is going to be the fastest order to do things in here. I think I am going to go for the intended path again, but try to just be a little bit more clean because I did make some mistakes last time around. So we'll go for the rings and then we'll go for the arches here. And we'll just try not to uh, waste too much time, you know, missing and having to turn back around and stuff like that. Oh, right there. That's where I made a goof last time. Because it looked like I had to fly over there, but I didn't. So we'll have to be careful on that one in the future. Uh, let's go down here. Yeah, I'm making some more mistakes again. This, this, this first round is just learning, guys. We're just learning here. So we get that one. We fly up over this way. And then we get these last two. So I think I, I think we are going to be able to get 110 with this strat. What if I can get both these boats at once? Yeah, that would be really good if we could do that. And we'll swoop over and grab this one. This one. And then I think there's one more going this way. There is right there. And we have to get him. Oh, I missed that one going up the ramp. So if I got that one really quick, that probably would have been good as well. See, I think these are going to be probably the hardest part to do quickly is the boats. Because they're a very interesting cycle going on here. And you can see at the top right, it actually is timing me upwards instead of downwards. We're not no longer on a time limit, I guess. But yeah, these guys, once we're done with the boats, we'll just have to go in reverse order. And that'll kind of happen naturally. So yeah, getting the arches clean and then figuring out how to do the boats quickly, that is going to be the key, I'm thinking. So I'm going through here. Just finish off this first practice round. Oop, almost, almost got it. Oh gosh, got to make sure nothing like that happens as well. All right, guys, 129, which is actually worse than I did last time. So let's go ahead and hop back in and let's see if we can get these uh, arches clean. Clean arches, let's go. That one where I kept trying to fly over the bridge, I'm going to try going under this time. Right over here, so I think we can just go under this bridge. Yeah, that's going to be much more clean there. Through that way, and then back up here and grab the last two. So those are some clean arches. Now we just have to get these boats clean. That's going to be the real struggle. Now we actually kind of start this mission right by the boats. So I'm wondering if... Oh gosh, that's going to do it. But I wonder if we could just get the boats at the very beginning. Okay, try and get this one. Oh, I'm kind of following behind. You definitely want to be going head on with these guys. We have a couple more over here. Yeah, these boats are really, really tough to get clean, but we'll figure it out. Let's get that last boat, and then we'll go practice one more time with the guys up here. I don't think we're going to be able to get this one in time. 110 is pretty tight on the timer. I think as long as we get those boats good, though, ah, and we don't miss like that, we'll be fine, though. So pretend we didn't miss that one and that one. So once we get to six, we'll see what the timer is at. So there, that one, and then... That one. So pretend we got right there. That would have been a 115 if I didn't miss any of the guys here. Here we go. Let's get these boats clean. Oh gosh, it's super hard because they're really low to the water, obviously. Got that one though. Actually doing pretty decent here, man. Go through here, grab all of these ones. Oh, where's the last two though? These last two? No, dude, they're so out of so out of line. So we'll go ahead and grab them. I think that's gonna be too sloppy though. Let's get back over this way and start working on these car things. Damn. Got him, but that's not gonna, that's definitely not gonna be fast enough, man. 110 is pretty tough, actually. So we'll get what we can. I uh, missed that one as well. These are surprisingly easy to miss. But let's see what time we actually got on this one. So pretend I didn't miss that one. We would have had a 114. So still need to find five more seconds to save. Guys, ow, car hit me, but I've just figured out the secret to beating this stage. We can supercharge on this ramp to deal with the cars. Oh my stinking gosh. Okay, glad to know that one. So let's go ahead and start over. And as long as the boats go decent, the rest should just fall into place here. All right, wish me luck on these stinking cars, dude. I'm gonna try taking my time. If I get near one, I'm just gonna stop just very briefly to try my best not to miss anything here. Come on, one more. No, get it in time, please. Oh my gosh, we got it. That was really close, but we got it, dude. Well, that was miserable. Let's move on. Warm those hands, Spyro. Well, that took almost 20 minutes, but we're gonna move on. And now guys, it's finally time to go and fight the boss of Summer Forest. If I can just remember how to get to it, I think it's right through here. Hey, Laura. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Yay. 
crushes a dungeon. I think there is a skill point here as well to get a perfect fight. So let's head on in and see what we do we can do here. The boss fights in this game are a lot more challenging than in Spyro 1 though. Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There, that's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Dragons? Wonderful! Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! The portal, you idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't you say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Ooh, it is time for the crush boss battle. And like I was saying, the bosses are a lot more involved, a lot more difficult than they were in Spyro 1. Spyro 1, the bosses were a kind of a joke. I mean, they were still fun, but they were very, very simple. This game, well, they're going to be more proper boss fights, so let's go get to it, man. Hey, Crush, how's it going, buddy? I think we're going to crush him. First things first, he will do some blue shockwaves, so we'll try to dodge all of those. I don't actually remember how these fights really go, so we'll just kind of wing it here. Okay, blue shockwave. Hmm, are we, do we have to do anything now, or do we just keep on dodging for a bit as we wait? What if we step on these platforms? That didn't really do anything. Okay, what if we go up and just flame the guy? Let's just try damaging him directly here. Wait and dodge a little bit here. He likes to do two at a time, it seems. Yeah, looks like we can just go and hit him directly, and he will start dropping some crud, and that will smash him. Good. Okay, so he's going to kind of crush himself on accident. What's he doing this time around? More of the same? All right, more of the same. Let's go ahead and hit him and then get away here. That will drop some more stuff on him. Two out of seven hits are now down. Oh, orange one. I think those might be tall boys. Uh, okay, those are fireballs here. Flame up again. Get away so we don't get crushed ourselves. Yeah, the stuff he drops, it can hurt us, too, if we don't get away. Okay. Oh, gosh. He might start going fast with these. Let's get away. Okay. Yeah. Good. So it seems like he's still only doing two at a time. Whoa, he's going for me. Oh, gosh. He tried to chase me down, but we got away, guys. On par or on track to get that perfect so far. What's he doing now? More fireballs, more quickly. Oh, that was close as heck. Okay, flame him. Get away. Okay, he doesn't actually have to be hit twice. He's just trying to do the dropping of the rubble near us. Okay, what's he doing now? Probably just more fireballs more quickly here. Okay. Eh. Eh. That's a lot of fire. Oh, come on. Get him. No, I can't hit him. I can't hit him. I think when he's doing his actual shots, we can't get him. We have to get him afterwards. No, he's too fast. And he went the exact opposite way. Man, he's quick. 
Okay, there's one, two, and three. Go, go, go. There we go, we got him. Okay, go ahead and do your crud. Get to your crud. Get near me, do your crud. Come on. Oh, gosh, we had to let him get really close. That was scary, man. All right, last round. Just don't get damaged now and we'll be, we'll be fine. Okay, blue. Blue. Three blues. Get him. Come on, yes. Let him do his thing. Get away. Skill point. Skill point on our first try, guys. Not a single point of damage. We did it, man. No, crush. You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Go! Come here now! Destroy him and make sure it's painful! What? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon! Crush defeated and peace is restored to the summer forest, but we're not done with the game yet guys not nearly We still have I think two more worlds to go I'm pretty sure we have to go through the next world and then defeat gulp and then go through another world and then fight Ripto I'm pretty sure how that's the game. That's that's how the game is structured So we're about one-third done minus the fact that we still have to go back and uh, get some more stuff in summer forest once we can climb but we, we can't do that yet, so we'll just we'll keep our eyes out see if we can find the ability to climb Probably gonna have to get that from money bags at some point Oh, speaking of money bags. That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! Uh, why you? You! Uh, uh, oh great! How am I gonna get the ability to climb now if Money Bags is dead? We'll find him. Maybe he's just uh broken a few bones. Maybe he's fine. Well, here we are in the new homeworld, guys. This one is called the Autumn Plains World. So let's go look around and see what we've got right over here. We've got crystal glacier and maybe oh man It's kind of tempting to just go directly into the stage Hmm, you know what we'll explore a little bit of the world first, but uh, I think we'll go ahead and enter a stage there before getting too deep into this one I'm pretty sure I just like ran past a five gem or No, I was gonna say or not, but no we definitely did Let's go on back and we'll take a quick loop around here. I see another stage over this way We've got the Breeze Harbor, okay, and I think we have Skellos or Shellos Badland over there. Oh, that's probably where we're gonna either get the ability to climb or have to use it. Dude, okay, well, let's go get the ability to climb. Summer Forest right there, we're gonna have to uh, get another orb to go back to it looks like though. Let's go talk to him real quick. Well, well, I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, oh, I don't know, a small fee? How small is the fee, money bags? 500. Well, we've got almost 2,000, so that's no problem. You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the left stick to move up and down. Press the jump button again to leap off. You could also jump sideways onto another climbable area. Sounds great. So we now have the ability to climb. Let's go ahead and try it out right here. There you go, guys. Even though we're kind of just grabbing nothing. Oh, there's like a weird shader effect or something. You guys see that? There's like after images of Spyro. It's a little bit subtle, but that's really weird looking. Let's go ahead and get to the top. And we can just jump right on off. Cool. Let's go around this edge here and see if we can find some treasure. Oh, uh, more stuff to climb. I think that's gonna lead to later in the little hub world here. I'm gonna go to this though and see, can we go back to Summer Forest? 
Oh, we can. I think that icon with the missing orb might have been indicating that we still have an orb to get in Summer Forest. So, hmm. How do I want to do this? I think what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go back to the Autumn Plains. Let's go do a stage there. And then in the next episode, we'll go back to Summer Forest and knock out all of the stuff that we have to redo. I think that'll be a little bit more satisfying because I want to do at least one stage in the new homeworld today. So yeah, we'll just hop right back in and we'll go do the first stage that we saw. The one that I was very tempted to go into when we only had two treasure in the world. Well, we're back here. I think there's a little bit more treasure to grab on the side over this way. Yeah, let's grab this. And we've got a few choices for stages. We could go to the Shallow Badlands, we could go to Breeze Harbor, or we could go all the way back there to Crystal Glacier. I think I'm gonna start with Crystal Glacier, guys. Oh, darn it. I'm still not used to the camera. I turned it back to uninverted, and I think it's gonna be better in the long run, but yeah, I kinda get flipped around sometimes. Let's go ahead and smash these bad boys open. And grab that. I think that's everything under here. So I know there's more stuff to get over on that side of the world, guys. There's Elora as well. Might as well grab this one. But for now, for today, let's go do Crystal Glacier. I did check, and there is no skill points here. But kind of crazy, Skelos Badlands had two skill points. So that stage might be pretty wild when we get to it. So we might do that one in the next episode alongside all of the stuff back in the Summer Forest homeworld and Glimmer and... I think it was Sunny Beach that had one as well, so lots of stuff to do back in the first world, but I'm pretty sure with Climb, we should be able to get 100% of everything in Summer Forest, so that'll be good. But for now, we're going to focus on Crystal Glacier. Let's hop on in and check out this opening cutscene. Uh-oh, ice wizards. Can we flame these guys to melt them? There we go, man. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Why does this guy kind of sound like Ripto? I haven't looked at the voice credits, but I wonder if this guy is voiced by the same person that voiced Ripto, because he's kind of got the same rumble to his voice. Very, very similar cadence there. So that's a... Uh, Something I'm wondering. Let's go over here and free this guy. Any goodies for me? Uh, just love, just love. I guess that's good enough. Okay, we'll free this guy. You get on the catapult. We'll help you across the chasm. All right. Thanks, Ripto. I can see some Omanite on the wall, some Aerodactyl on the wall as well. So let's go ahead and get on and see if they'll catapult me over. So we'll stand right here, and they're gonna go ahead and launch me across. Heck yeah, dude go around. We've got some critters over on this side. Also some treasures. Oh, ice wizards. Ow. Yep, those hurt. We can still defeat them with flames, though. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a butterfly, because we did take a bit of damage already. So I'm guessing we're going to have to go around and flame all of these guys free to get them to, well, catapult us again. There's probably going to be another catapult, so getting the love and affection of all of these guys is probably the way to go. Got some dynamite bottles. Those seem dangerous. Ooh. And that will bust open into one 10 gem. Okay, let's get this one too. Whoa, guys throwing snowballs at me. Dude, I'm busy trying to get treasure. Stop trying to ruin my day, Ice Guy. Jeez. Let's go flame this dude as well. Uh, still got one more guy here. I think that might be all of them. Never mind, there's this one. I think that might be all of them. Yeah. Watch. We'll have you climb this wall up ahead. Thanks a lot, Iggy the Ice Builder. Man, I like Iggy the Ice Builder so much more than I like Iggy the, uh, the Koopa... The uh, Koopa, Koopa, uh, Koopaling. I don't know why I blanked on that. Uh, and they're gonna just build a platform for me? I mean, if you guys insist, I'll jump on you. Just make sure there's nothing over here. Looks like there isn't, so let's go up this way and jump on these dudes. Yeah! Got that fairy there. She'll give us a checkpoint, of course. An ice dog with a frosty nose. Well, it's better than frosty toes, dude. Man, I don't really have this problem anymore, but when I was younger, my feet were just, like, always ridiculously cold all the time. It was super weird. I could be, like, sweating hot under a bunch of blankets on my upper half, and then my feet would just be, like, ice cubes. I don't know why that was, but I don't really have that problem as much anymore. Go ahead and grab all these goodies. 
Hitting up to nine spirit particles. Oh, yeah, we got to watch out for those ice pillars sticking out of the ground because that's when these guys are, or where these guys are going to pop up. But yeah, we got to, uh, we got up to 10 spirit particles. So I'm wondering if we're going to need to collect those for something in this stage. Yeah, this guy, we're up on a ledge, so he can't really get to us. So let's go and, oh, we got money bags again. All right, well, if we're going to deal with money bags, we might as well go grab some money over here first. And by the way, I did check, guys. There is no skill point for this stage. I'll, I'll double check just in case. But yeah, you can see there's two for Skellos Badlands. And then we've got Scorch, Fracture Hill, Icy Speedway, some other speedways as well. So apparently there's four speedways in the game. Or at least four that we need skill points from. Wow, that guy got the double hit on me. Knocked me out the air right into the goo there. So we'll have to go get this critter. But we're not going to get back to full HP. Sorry, Sparks. All right, money bags. What's the damage this time? How much Hello do you want for this Spyro. small fee? I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. And let me guess, a billion gems. Okay, two hundred. I could do that. You, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Hurricose I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. I don't know who would want to live in Hurricose. That place was pretty dark and gloomy. But I guess people do live in dark and gloomy places in real life, so maybe it's not that strange. Let's go up on over this way. There's a little portal down there. So 15. We have to get 15 enemies, and there's an orb challenge as well. Can we get to 15 enemies if we go and knock out these green dudes? I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. Split pass, man. I can never decide. Do I want to go to the top or the bottom first? Kind of tempted to go down there. You know what? Let's go back, guys. Let's go do the bottom path first, because I'm pretty sure if we knock out these green dudes, we will be able to get up to 15. Or maybe this will be completely unrelated. Okay, so we probably have to kill those as a part of the orb challenge or something. Now, how do I get back up then? Uh, maybe I'll just go around and kill them manually. Maybe we don't need to go through that portal thing. Yeah, that guy's easy enough to kill. So yeah, let's try to kill as many as we can. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get to that one. So now I just got to figure out a way to get back up top. And it almost seemed like these guys respawned after a while. Uh, we'll talk to them. area is infested with creepy tracklets. If you could fly, you might be able to help us get rid of them. Yeah, so we're going to have to be able to fly for that. And we don't have 15 enemies defeated. Was that a swoop de swoop Oh, there we go. So that's how we get back up. So we'll take that, get back to the bridge, and we'll move on. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that they require us to get 15 enemies, considering I'm pretty sure I killed everything along the way, and it was still not enough. There's 14, though, so I could just kill these two and go right on back. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just grab these two treasures here, and let's just head on back. We got 15 now. So we might as well go and get this one done. Yeah, they should have just made that one cost like 13, so you could have got it all as you went. Okay, so I think I can just go for it, right? Great, but remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Got it. Four-star difficulty. Well, let's get to it, man. Let's go through the flight and start zapping them. I don't know if we need to keep the flight the whole time, or if we can just land and still have time to refly and all that kind of stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, we can just refly here. I missed one. That's probably going to do it. I was a little bit too slow there. Did I not miss him? No, I totally missed him. Yeah, they're moving, man. Moving targets and everything. So there's definitely not going to be enough time to get all these. Well, maybe not definitely. Maybe they're nice enough to give me a little bit of wiggle room. No, they're back, dude. So let's go and get these guys. Uh, get them. Come on, come on. Get him. Oh, no. Come on, dude. Okay. Just barely got it in time. I think the other ones were start to about to start multiplying again as well. So that is the first orb of, well, not just Icy Glacier here or whatever, Crystal Glacier. Not just the first one here, but the first one for the entire Autumn Plains world. So got that crud. Feeling pretty good, man. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some treasure around this loop as well that I missed while I was going for those weird bug things. Smash all this crud open. Grab these two. Yeah, even over here we missed a pot. Lots to get inside here. And I think we got all of it. I do want to get back out of here before I run out of flying juice. Otherwise, I'm going to get dropped into the purple drink there. I think we're safe. So let's go around and let's take the swoop de swoop get back up, and progress with the stage. Let's see. How much more treasure do we need? 125 more, as well as one more orb. So it seems like a relatively short stage, which is fine. I don't mind that. Turn back around here. Wait, did I miss a treasure? Now, for a second there, I thought there was a treasure on that uh, weird bone thing. Let's go through. Oh, I tried to jump over the ball that I knew he was going to throw, but he kind of delayed his shot. 
Or maybe I just mistimed it. And yeah, he just threw it at me in the air. Let's go over here. Looks like we've got more of these guys to save. Knock out all these dudes. You know, I was actually pretty recently, because we've got the this whole ice zone here. I was pretty recently reading about people that live in tundras in real life. And it's pretty remarkable how well people are able to survive. Because it's such an unhospitable area. Like, when you get to the deep tundras, you get to places where... Oh, let's talk to this guy real quick. For a second. And look out below! Look out below? Uh-oh. Well, I was gonna say, in deep tundras, it gets so cold and, that the ground freezes, and big plants can't actually dig their roots down, so you only get these, like, little tiny plants. So you can't even really grow most crops, so it's just... It's crazy that, like, you can't even do most agriculture, and they still manage to make it work up there. It's crazy, man. But, hey, if there's a way, people I find it, man. These guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Ooh, is this going to be the talisman? Looks like it. I'm not sure how many talismans there are exactly in this world. I believe they said at some point there's 14 throughout the entire game, and we already got six from the first world and then one right there. So if there were six in this world as well, that would mean there's only two for the final world, which seems a bit limited. So unless there actually is more than 14, then I'm not sure. I mean, it's possible there might be more than 14, and then maybe you just only need 14 of them. You don't need to get all of them. Or maybe this world has five, and then the next world has... Uh, or something like that. Who knows, man? But we'll figure that out as we go. Let's just go up top and see if we can talk to these guys. Uh, they're not doing much for me, so maybe we have to get another one still. I'll look around and see what we can find. Or you know what? Let's just have Sparks help us out. Point us in that direction. Yeah, I can see a bridge going off that way and some treasure. So let's go and check it out. Oh, yeah, there's an orb challenge over here. Let's go down and fling this one open. I don't want to stand near that while it blows up, though. Nice. Got a 10 right there. Let's go talk to this guy. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draglets. I hope that too, man. Poor George. Bring back the snow leopard. Only two stars. That's kind of refreshing after how many four-star difficulty missions I've been having lately, it seems like. Got some little holes right there. Oh, is that George right there? Hey, buddy, you're going the wrong way, George. Maybe we have to scare him off. Maybe not. Now, I want to focus on this treasure first, because we we're almost done with treasure for this entire world. Honestly, these might be the last few bits. No, not quite. We still need five more. All right, well, we'll get Sparks to help us out with that. But first, let's go and scare this guy off. And try to get him going back towards his place. Okay, let's go through here. Don't want to scare him into the goo, obviously. So as long as we walk behind him, I think we're good. I saw a fish there, too. Maybe we have to use the fish to lure him over there. So let's wait for the fish to come out. And we'll knock it over that way. And do we have to just keep knocking the fish away? Uh, no, he ate it, dude. No. I think we have to, um... Oh, uh, jeez. I think we have to lure him with the fish. Either that, or he just has to eat all the fish, and then once he's satisfied with his hunger, he'll just go home automatically. That might be possible also, so let's just look around and... where he go? Let's just look around and see if, if we can find as many fish as possible. Aha, another one here. Let's go and give this one a blast. And let's see, we've got three fishies for him. Will that make him go home? Go home, George, go home! Maybe he'll follow me now? Are you following me? Please tell me you're following me, George. Yeah, it looks like he is, guys. So we got him the three fish, and maybe now he'll actually come home. I just don't want to get too far ahead, because maybe he'll lose interest and get distracted and try to go inside the purple goo or something. Now follow the purple dragon, George. Not the purple goo, George. Just dragon. All right, we got it. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Thank you, Shaman Talk. So we'll get that orb, and I think that's the final orb for this stage. And if it is, all we need left is those five gems, and we are done. Up to 19 orbs in total. Yep, all orbs collected. All right, help me out, Sparks. Pointing me over this way. Let's go over a little bit further. Point some more. Still pointing that way, so maybe we have to go back through the tunnel. We might have missed something underground, or maybe just tucked away in a corner somewhere. Still this way. Wow, we must have missed something really early on then. Oh, random pot. 
And there it is. Okay. So there is 400 out of 400, and that level is done. No skill points here as well. So let's exit, and let's go check out that exit cutscene. Oh man, I love those little cutscenes so much. They're so simple, but they just add a lot of charm to the game. So there we go, guys. We got money bags paid off quite a bit. 1,743 treasures still with us. And we also now have the ability to climb. So once we get back over to the Autumn Plains, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time. We'll go back to the Summer Forest. We'll do Glimmer. We'll do Sunny Beach. We'll do the Homeworld itself. And once we get all of that, if we have time, we'll come back to the Autumn Plains and do another stage here as well. So until next time, guys, take care.